For today's agenda, what we're going to touch on are an emphasis of COVID-19, talking about public health to patient journey. And we want to talk about some of the challenges in diagnosis and comorbidities and what real world complexities are and how they're different for patient and disease and how we can go about analyzing the knowledge in there. From a modeler's perspective, I take the position that I want to know how big is the real problem and what part of the problem are we actually solving? And that goes, uh, as you'll see, linking public health, personalized medicine, and personal health. So all of you have heard the term personalized medicine. Um, that's the future of medicine, but that's not what we're really going to be talking about today because we're not really talking about going down to the DNA of the individual. We're going to be talking about a more pragmatic approach. And in that, we are also exposed to the idea that perfect is the enemy of good. This is the original quote that that came from. And what that means is rather than being able to drive personalized medicine and looking at an N of one, we're looking at a very stratified type of healthcare where we can look at groups of individuals and make much better decisions about it, but understand what's the critical data and information needed to make those decisions. At present, I don't have to outline the difficulties that we're all faced globally and in the US. We get bombarded with these numbers every day and hopefully we will have some turnaround now that we'll have the vaccine uh, and vaccines coming about, but we still need to be very cautious. But the reality is that all of this remains very fluid. This just shows you four articles just from this week about antibodies, autoantibodies causing more severe COVID, the fact that um, there's a new variant of COVID that's been identified that uh, may cause greater transmissibility, that one of the tests that's actually out and being circulated in the UK may uh, actually have to be um, uh, discontinued, and that even a small event which took place in Boston, a uh, small uh, business conference, actually ended up creating more than over 200 cases being spread. So this is an ongoing challenge looking at how this information is coming uh, on a daily basis and flooding from many, many directions. 